must be a test or something to find out if I know about PVCs. So if you were to project low-key footage like this in a situation like this, where there is a light hitting me as the speaker to make me visible to the audience, and you use a brighter screen to make your projection visible, you're losing most of the darker contrasts to, well, the ambient light that will hit your screen and thus make all the blacks wash out to some greyish thing. So it might be better to have a black screen like this and then up the contrast a bit and prepare your footage for the projection in a situation like this. Well, basically do what I teach on this channel on a regular basis. Hello my friends and welcome to Stuttgart, uh, where I actually live, if I live at some place. Well, this time of year I'm in Stuttgart and I got a parcel from Stumpfel, the makers of my favorite, if not the best, media server out there. So, let's look inside and see why black is the better color to project on. Maybe be a bit careful because they explicitly say I shouldn't actually open it with a knife. Don't Casey Neistat the whole thing. By the way, customer Philip uh, seems to be enough to send stuff to me. The material we are unwrapping here is called Peak Black. So they promise this to be the perfect material for daylight projections on a fair or something. So uh, judging from the way they package all this, it seems to be a pretty expensive material. Let's have a look at the price. The material is 40 euros per square meter. A little correction here. The price is 68 euros plus tax, which is, well, in the middle upper segment. And um, this is a good moment to remind you and me that um, although I didn't pay anything for this here sample, I'm not being paid to do this. This is not an advertising. This is a test that I do on this material. So there are no markings here. I'm guessing this is a test to see if I know about PVCs before sending me stuff to test. Well played, Stumpfel. Okay, we're gonna try with this map side, which seems to be the more elaborate side and uh, the more machined side. Um, it looks really, really nice and really fine. Nice material. We'll try it with a projector. In this case, we're using the Philips PicoPix Max 1, the worst purchase I've ever made in projectors. So if you want to know more about this here projector, subscribe to the channel because there is a review coming up of this stupid thing. There is one good thing about it anyways, it has the same weak 350 lumens of light output that uh, his predecessor, the small one that you saw in the other videos, that is right now not here but in the north of Germany, well, never mind, bad planning on my side, those 350 lumens from this one spread over the square meter of material I have here, kind of sum up to what we have in a theater when the portal is kind of 12 meters wide and 7 meters high. Let me, let me just um, put a little uh, graph of the um, math down here. Let me first apologize for the flickering in the darker parts of this projection. This is due to the horrible color wheel in the PicoPix. As I said, subscribe to the channel to see the review on this really bad purchase decision. But this is a projection of 10% to 100% white on Stumpfel's Black Peak, the latest of Stumpfel's darker projection screens. We are at a um, uh, 15 degrees angle to the surface with the camera, which is kind of what we expect of other viewers. Um, the projector is sitting next to the camera, so it's a little tricky, but um, I can assure you the viewing angle for this is pretty good. Let's now compare it to some other stuff. For instance, something white. 
Of course, on white, the brighter portions are far brighter, but also you lose a lot of contrast because the black portions are a lot brighter as well. So the eye's perception of contrast is far worse on this one because right above the screen, there is this lamp shining onto me and onto the screen, of course. You can't see the spill of the lamp because the material is pitch black. You might remember those videos where I explain how black is the better color. Sometimes it's really difficult to create a black that has good reflectiveness and a nice even spread of the contrast and at the same time is affordable to buy or to build. Let's now compare the Black Peak to some of the competitors, which is not a fair comparison because most of them didn't really build a front projection black screen. When you see projections on a black screen today in a theater, mostly it's on the reversal side of otherwise white materials like this one, the blackout from Showtex. Of course, the whiter side has poor contrast because it's being lit by the light up here and everything around and those darker portions just don't get as black as on this material. But if you turn it around, well, there is a similar situation, but as this side hasn't been prepped for, for projections, it is really glossy and you can see how the angle of the viewer changes the intensity of those tones. Same goes for the OptiBlack by our friends at Garriott's. As you can see, it has similar but not the same qualities in a front projection, but this also isn't prepared for front projection. So this is a rear projection screen that of course has a lot of gloss on the frontal side because it hasn't been finished as matte as the Black Peak. Again, if you create the material yourself, like we did on black matte material with those extra pigments that I got from Nordvest Chemie, the image is a lot less glossy and a lot less disturbed by um, aberrations and stuff. And uh, those little accents are a little brighter and the black seems a little blacker while the 10% grey already picks up more light. Well, if you have the luxury of building the material yourself, that's a great luxury, but oftentimes you just have to buy something from the roll and need some affordable material that can be built in screens of a very big size. So this, to me, looks like a very nice solution for blacker screens. Let's test it with some imagery. The whiter portions in this image are pretty bright, actually, um, compared to what this black represents. So the contrast between the blackest black and the whitest white on this is pretty high. At the same time, the detail is pretty fine on this material because the gloss doesn't really disturb so much. Other than the uh, scales that I just showed you, uh, this footage needs special treatment. So let's just uh, hop in here and see if we can actually make those contrasts work a little better. Here we are. That looks pretty reasonable. In this case, you see that most of the whites actually burn out if we stretch the contrast too much but uh, it's really necessary to adjust the image to the screen. To wrap this up, Stumpfel's Black Peak seems to be fine in ambience where there is a lot of light around you, a lot of spill light that can hit you from almost any other side uh, that will also hit the screen and thus disturb the image. But it's still uh, a very dark and not too reflective material so it's great but I'm waiting for the response by Showtex and Gerrits to this kind of material because we are just at the start of black projection screens so let's wait what the next year brings us to see how all those suppliers and manufacturers 
react to something dark lit by a projection. <laughs>